Mark Rogers was killed Saturday afternoon in a tragic and senseless car accident. He left behind his wife and three young children. Mark was a great guy, much loved around Abilene and West Texas. If you live anywhere around here and you're watching this, you probably knew Mark, certainly knew of Mark. Mark was beloved in this community for a number of reasons. One is he was the director of the West Texas Big Brothers, Big Sisters organization. They did so much good for so many people, and Mark was the perfect guy to lead that. Enthusiastic, friendly, excited. Boy, he did a lot of good, and so many people here are involved in Big Brothers, Big Sisters, so they knew Mark. Mark was loved by the Abilene Christian University community, not just because his alum he was an alumni, but his wife teaches there, and he had so many connections there, and ACU loved Mark. And Mark was a key part of Southern Hills Church of Christ in Abilene, Texas. Boy, <laughs> the star of the summer VBS musicals, uh, did so much leading worship with his voice and music, and part-time campus minister, and not just Southern Hills, because in Abilene, the churches are pretty interconnected, and lots of churches knew Mark. He sang at lots of places. Mark loved Jesus, loved his family, loved people, and was taken, in our view, way too soon. So Sunday morning, the day after Mark died, I did communion thoughts at Hillcrest Church of Christ, where we worship. And I talked about Mark. And I wanted to share with you the three things about communion, why I needed communion Sunday morning because of what happened to Mark. One is because I was reminded this is a hard world and Jesus is the only answer. Death's real in this world and, and not just death, but pain and sorrow. And, and then there's all the issue with our sin. But Jesus did come and he did die so that we can make sense in this world. He is the hope of this world. And so I need communion. I needed it Sunday to remind myself in view of what happened to Mark that this is a hard world, but Jesus is real. Number two, I needed it to remind me that I'm not alone and neither are you. Neither is Mark's family. They'll be surrounded by a community of faith from all those places I talked about. It's too hard to go through this world by yourself. And even in Hillcrest, there were people in the Hillcrest community of faith that were deeply impacted, spent much of their Saturday uh, wrestling with and dealing with and helping each other deal with Mark's sudden passing. We don't have to do this life alone, and communion reminds us of that. And third, I need to be reminded that Jesus will make everything right, that someday he is going to come back and we're going to see God's face and there'll be no more pain, no more sorrow, no more crying. He, God will wipe away our tears. And I needed to remember that Sunday. And then finally, I needed communion because it was my promise, my pledge, my commitment to God that I just don't need to know those truths. This week, I, I'm going to live those truths the way Mark did in his life. So it's a pretty emotional week here in Abilene out in West Texas. If you knew Mark, you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you didn't know Mark, you've known people like him. And if you're a believer, someday you will get to know Mark. So this is Steve Ridgel thanking God for the gift of Jesus that in a hard, hard week reminds me that even though it's a hard world, Jesus is real. We've got each other to do life with. And someday God's going to make all of this right. And I'm going to live to that truth this week. I hope you do too.